words welcome to US MLA videos today I want to give you some important points about mitral stenosis mitral valve has two leaflets anterior and posterior mitral stenosis is a condition where the mitral valve area is reduced causing obstruction of blood flow from the left atrium into the left ventricle during left ventricular diastole Mitral stenosis can cause elevated left atrial pressure resulting in pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary edema and right heart failure. The most common cause of mitral valve stenosis, rheumatic heart disease. Now what are the symptoms and signs? Think anatomical. Rosy cheeks, mitral facies, fatigue, exertional dyspnea, orthopnea, heart failure, atrial fibrillation, pulmonary hypertension, right-sided heart failure causing ascites, pedal edema, weight gain, hemoptysis, hoarseness of voice, systemic embolization, accentuated first heart sound, an opening snap following the second heart sound, mid-diastolic low-pitched rumbling murmur, best heard at the apex with the patient in the left lateral position. Diagnosis EKG shows uh, P mitral right axis deviation, left atrial abnormality, atrial fibrillation. Echocardiography is best, it shows thickened mitral valve leaflets, fish mouth appearance of mitral valve, hockey stick motion of anterior leaflet, and larger left atrial. Chest X-ray shows left atrial enlargement, horizontal lines in the regions of the costophonic angles representing interstitial edema. These are known as curlier and V-lines. Treatments: asymptomatic, no treatment, symptomatic, balloon valvuloplasty, or valve replacement. Medications: diuretics, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, anticoagulants. Okay, folks, those are the most important points about mitral stenosis please subscribe to our channel like this video and share your comments thank you i will meet you in the next video